Hey everyone, welcome to the horror show. I'm Cecil Laird. Hi, Susan Monslow. Luis Hernandez. Hi, me and Fuegi's here. We are here to do some pre convention coverage, you guys. We are going to be once again taking part in Phoenix Fan Fusion. <laughs> so Forgive me, I, had, really I was really going to really say. This is basically what Phoenix Comic-Con has morphed into over the course of the last two years. Mm -hmm. Of course, San Diego Comic-Con has started suing other comic conventions because of the name. So last year it was Phoenix Comic Fest. This year it is Phoenix Fan Fusion. So that's what we're going to be doing. And we are actually going to be doing three panels this year. We've done more in the past, but we're sticking with three this year to make sure we can do them as well as possible. So we wanted to let you guys know a little bit about phoenix fan fusion this year and what's going to be going on and how we're taking part so uh of course we are doing those three panels but just a little bit about the convention this is a four-day convention that is may 23rd to the 26th you know what let me go ahead and um just pull up the little desktop so they can see what we're looking at how's that oh that's the wrong thing that's later I'm not <laughs> so this I'm is the worried. website we're looking at. So photo apps and autographs are on sale. I don't know why I went to the is buy page, but blue these, blue? yeah, Paul, yeah, Paul Pee Wee, baby, yeah. Pee Wee's gonna be there. Yeah, <laughs> look and, at her. And, 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 uh, All right, well we're gonna go through it. Relax, we'll get through it. So it's May 23rd to the 26th, and let's go to the guests so we can straight up see what all the guests are. Okay. So Ray Park. Darth Maul is going to be there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, right, relax, nice. relax. Yeah, he's done lots of other stuff to him. Um, I don't know Fifi O'Hara. <laughs> she looks like a cosplayer. RuPaul's Drag Race. Okay, oh, she's in the RuPaul's Drag Race. One of the uh, the yeah, original Pink man. Ranger. Yes. The original Pink Ranger. Uh, Pink Ranger. All right, Star Wars. Uh, so this looks like a BB-8. The the beep beep. But there's a but guy. The the baby there. Brian yeah, Herring. He has a name. Too, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is weird. It's not starting with the most popular people. No, so. well, most best, recently best announced. For last. Oh, most recently yeah. announced. Is that what it is? That's Can what I, I change that is, how I sort? Yeah, That's all right. We'll now. just keep going. All right, so here we go. Yeah, Pink Ranger, if we didn't mention... Uh, we have Pink some writers. Oh. We have some animators. Looks like we've got a, a musician and more writers. Oh, here and... we go. Yeah. Sure we do. All right, so here we go into the acting and that stuff. From Game of Thrones. Yes, oh, wow. we have oh, the so. Kingslayer oh, from Game of Thrones. That's what Marsha was... Was geeking out about. Of course, we've got an uh, old friend of the show, Brian Polito. Every year there, and Kevin Eastman, honestly. Who dude, I that's was, a Kevin I, Eastman's I gonna be there. Yeah, the dude, fucking Turtles right creator. Yeah. <gasps> I watched that's a, the original creator of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I watched Susie. a terrific panel. They should have put. Fuck you! Get out! <laughs> Get out if you don't care. I watched a badass panel that he did maybe three or four years ago. It might have even been before I joined the horror show, but it had to be. His insight. I would have had you take a microphone. Well, well, <laughs> his insight about just the creative process and the Daredevil inspiration and all this other stuff. It was stuff I had no idea. There was a good documentary about. on Hulu about. Really? Whole, okay. Yeah. On yeah. Ninja Turtles, it was dope. Yeah, he's great. Okay. All right. So continuing on, um, all of these people are all here. Of these people. Arthur Sweetum, of course. Fuego's. Uh, uh, he's gonna be getting some of my money. <laughs> yeah, likely so. Take my does. money. Uh, Tom Levine, friend of the show, we've interviewed him. Tom Kinney, Spongebob okay. is going to be I'm here. I'm legit excited about that. <laughs> Alright, do you want to prepare? Like, he was the Ice King too? Yeah, oh. you didn't know that? Dude, I, I watched all of Adventure Time, by the way. All of it. I watched all I'm of it. I'm like legit. I'm, yeah. Okay, do you want to prepare an interview for him? Yeah! Okay, you can interview Tom Kenny. Really? Yeah. You got to prepare it, though. Oh, our buddy Shelby is going to be there. Awesome. Oh, Shelby uh, Robertson. Uh, yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, awesome. But, awesome. And Rebecca McKendry from uh, Boy Fangoria. Shockwaves, okay. Blumhouse, yeah. Oh, oh, that's stuff. the one that Monty does his, his stuff with. Okay. And that's the one who did uh, all the creatures for Stream. Uh, all right. With Derek Robertson. He did yeah. the boys. Yeah. He's the boys artist. He's the art yeah. illustrator. Sweet. Okay, all right. next. Um, wait, next? we have one unable to attend. Yeah. Mike Cole. Mike Cole. Uh, all right, so. next. <laughs> we got Sean McGuire. Uh, okay, we're just going to kind of scroll until we see people that, that really we know. <laughs> speak to us. We saw that guy us. already. Robin Adam Taylor. Savage. Hey. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, penguin. penguin from he's the good, Gotham show. Penguin. All right, fair enough. There you go, Susie. And, and he's more like the mobster. Pee-wee! Do you want to do a photo op with him? Yeah, I, oh my god, yes I do. Do you okay. like Paul Rubin? I fucking love Paul Rubin, are you 
Are you should watch The Tripper. He's hilarious. Oh my god. So this guy had something to do with the mask. Do you guys see, awesome. wait, did you guys see the Jurassic Park like, awesome party that I posted mm. about? Okay, yeah, it's like when so. they're following Jeff Goldblum and they're trying to get away and it's Paul Rubin when from Pee Wee's. Look at this. Oh, J Photos. Of course he's there. He's amazing. He's like on his he's bike. Awesome. Jay Photos. He's like, Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> yeah! Oh my god. Jeff Goldblum. Go- okay, see, this is really hard. Do you know how many girls are going to want to go see Jeff Goldblum? What's really hard, Susie? I don't get the appeal. Why not? I mean, he's Good actor, female. but like, no, 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 uh, it's just... uh, Lou, uh, uh, let me explain why. I bet he's like, oh uh, uh, I thought it was the shirtless Jurassic Park scene, that but uh, he didn't know. It's the way he speaks. It's How is he speaks uh, like a serial killer. Well, he's very oh, serious. Oh, that's I don't know. Women <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, yeah, yeah, laughs> yeah, love serial killers. And sploosh. Serial killers. And sploosh. <laughs> I don't All believe right. in murder, but oh god, my god. god. Moving I, right along. God damn. Uh, <laughs> god damn. George, George Takei is really yeah. exciting. I, I met George Takei one him. time at San Diego Comic Con. He was there with his husband, Brad. Brad. And, and it was hilarious because we went up and I was like, George! Oh, Mr. Takei. And he had a line waiting. I caught him before he sat down to mm-hmm. attend his line. Yeah. I was like, Mr. Takei, I'm such a huge fan of you on Howard Stern. He's like, oh, would you like to meet Brad? And I was like, yes! And I Brad came up. Him. I shook both their hands. I took a picture with both of them. I still have the picture. Oh, wow. But I would love to say hi and take a picture yes, with George Takei. Yes, so well, so George Takei is dope, How long ago was that? That was... Probably San Diego Comic Con 2015. He's so sweet. That's so probably like 2015. Ten years. Yeah. Later. It's it's, it's almost, five well, yeah. five basically. Yeah. yeah. He's 2015? so sweet. Oh, 2015? 2014 or 15? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's so sweet. Like well, four, and you've four, also five got uh, Nichelle and Walter uh, Koenig there as well. Walter so. Koenig. Koenig. Okay. Proper pronunciation. I'll, I I will just never forget the scene with oh, a weird little. Weird little Voyager. Being put he's in he's the apparently air. Voyager is supposed to be pretty good too. Oh, not Voyager. Okay, the next. One, yeah. mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like, Relax, All right. Brian Augustin is a fantastic comic book writer. Greg Land. Nice. Um, Greg Land is here. Yeah. Oh shit, Land, dude! Yeah. I have some. I have some key Greg Land issues. Yeah, yeah he's good. When he did the X Men stuff and the Phoenix stuff, mm-hmm. dude, that that Gene like, Gray series song? that he did was, was yeah, and yeah, song. song, yeah. Dude, yes, song. I have he's all of good, that. He's a good artist. Ooh, I don't know either. Dude, dude like, look at well, look. That's that's Greg's Land. Greg Land's art. He's uh, yeah. photorealistic. He's so uh, talented. Is that a? Uh, is that what's her face? Is that? Uh, that's the White Queen. White Queen. Yeah. That's and Domino. Uh, from I, Deadpool, I, and I, that I is Wolverine, obviously. Domino or Harley or who the hell? No, that's that's that Domino Domino. from Deadpool. Well, since it was in the obviously, white, it's was not a black lady in the comics. It's it's a white girl. Well, I knew it funny was story, so. Domino. Okay. All right. So I've uh, seen uh, from issues, I Christine's uh, the cooking show that she did. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. you know the werewolf. Yeah, sure. Okay, Mike Ingus. Sure. He actually does a solid Domino. Really? Cosplay. Yes. One of the other amazing. voices is, is a, I think I think uh, Gary Anthony Williams is another voice on there that I really Yeah, no, he d- well comedian. he does the whole thing. Like he does the costuming. Like he's in the Christopher costume. Priest. He oh, oh. Oh. He, wait, he did Carnage? <gasps> we have a Carnage creator on here? Oh, I love Carnage. Okay. All right. No, but Christopher costume. Priest did a fantastic Black, Black Panther run and he did a really good dead uh, a Deathstroke yes, run. Really so Looks Christopher like Priest Batman is really, really there. good. Shown, like, shown um, uh, oh, another! <gasps> the voice of Finn! <gasps> the voice of Finn! Oh my god, I love it! I wow. Oh, that's so exciting! He looks like he's tall. Dude! Really I'm okay with but this! Look at, but, but look at the character he... he oh, who cares? Yeah, no. No, no, no. I love Finn. I don't, I don't watch and, I, and he's, on, he's on Voltron, he's too. I don't. Oh, dude, it. I watched all of it. It's not it's as good so as, like, good. it's not as good as, like, some United of the other Avengers. ones. Um, no, but it's... Oh, come on. No, it's 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 still a really good show, though. Man. It's still it's a really good show, though. All right, all right. Time. Moving, <laughs> moving right along. <laughs> moving right along. So, all right, I'm trying to find some people. Elijah Wood. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty dope. I feel like yeah, I should be big, excited about that upon principle. That's pretty d- Well, he's a huge, huge, huge horror fan. Freaking I maniac, would love to do, really I, like yeah. I, well, and, and his character in Sin City was dope yeah. as fuck too. Yeah, yeah. Serial yeah. Killer. I, 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 Wilfred, uh, he, Wilfred, yeah. That's Elijah Wood. He's Even really outside of yeah. he was in that yellow. He was in that <laughs> Sin City thing. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. that's his Nick character Stahl. here though. He was the he was Nick the serial Stahl killer. Yeah, no, he was the serial killer. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, Matthew Lewis, um, from the Harry Potter. 
He He's found grown. He went from Matt Lee to Dennis Black O'Neill is one that really. Denny O'Neill was O'Neil. huge. Yeah. He was huge in comics. He did some really good Batman stories. Well, yeah, I am not a fan Adam, of Howard Chaykin, though. I hate old. Howard Chaykin. No wow. offense, but I really dislike Howard Chaykin's style. Uh, oh, okay. Artist? Artist? He, yeah, he's an I artist. I don't think I've ever seen Oh, you have. He did a lot of the challengers of the unknown. You've seen uh, his stuff on shelves. Everyone looks like they've got the same fucking round, round face that face? Catwoman does. Well, I was say, Everyone's got a goddamn round face. I hate his artwork. Denny O'Neill was doing stuff around the time of Nightfall Night's Quest. Neil Adams, uh, holy yeah. shit! Dude, Neil Norm Adams. Ratmund, he he does a lot of the Flash stuff now. Neil Adams has been around. Dude, for, uh, well Titans now uh, actually, a long but time. yeah, I met him uh, the first time I went with you guys. Really? Okay. Yeah, he was asking me about the weather, and I was like, oh, it's oh hot. yeah, it's hot. Yeah, it's, <laughs> hot. it's hot, man. It's hot. Uh, all right, keeping it. Summer Glau. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. yeah, she's been in Firefly and Terminator, uh, Sarah Connor Chronicles. And she's really pretty. Bunch she's, of, she's gorgeous. She's the voice of Supergirl on the, that one animated movie. Tony Parker! Sure. Tony Parker is a really good artist, too. He's also a retired basketball player from the uh, San Antonio Spurs. Uh, Catherine Tate. Catherine Tate. Oh, she was, uh, she was one of the companions for Doctor Who. She mm-hmm. was also That's in her the right there. Oh, was she? Yeah, later. Yeah, she was in. Season. Yep, she was in later John on. John Barrowman. He was in yeah. uh, Doctor Who and the spinoff Torchwood. Sorry. And that was Arrow, wrong, right? Oh, oh, it was, was Merlin. Merlin. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, uh, all right. Guy, Ian Ziering, Sharknado, Sharknado. You know what? The only thing I can say <laughs> that. Holy I, shit! Billy D. Williams is gonna be there. Yeah, that's what I said. Wow. I'm stoked for Lando, yo. Which that's makes dope. sense because he's gonna be in episode nine. Chris right? Sarandon, dude. Yeah. He's from Fright Night uh, and uh, yeah. we were King Humperdinck. Gonna, we were originally yep. going to interview Princess him Bride. at uh, Mad Monster, and then he closed down his booth early that yeah, day. Yeah, he did. He did. Out. Had he had confirmed an interview. <laughs> with us so there you go. That's a lot of cool people that we're going to get to see. <laughs> and that's even and that's beyond the panels that we're doing. And the panels that we're doing, by the way, here, right here. So we are going to be doing a I'm not crying, you're crying, which is Friday at nine to ten p.m. And basically, sure, horror movies are meant to scare and unnerve you, but did you know they can make you ball too? Join Arizona's own The Horror Show channel as they dive deep into the numerous examples of horror movies that cut through audience exteriors and punch them right in the feels. That's good writing, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I said it twice. Um, the next one was written by none other than Fuegisimo. Do you want to read that, Fuego? Sure. Go ahead. If I can see it well enough. Okay, do I need to make it big and, wow. and shrink this up? Long days and pleasant nights, fellow travelers, along the Here. path of the beam. We are known right on this Perfect. level of the tower as the Horror Show Channel. And if it please you, join us for a bit of palaver all about Cy Stephen King in this monumental year of 19. From remakes and sequels on television and <clears> film <throat> to a monstrous new novel, 2019 will be none other. Will, will be will be like none other. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, it's my what fault. It's my fault. Like, go ahead, contact. finish, finish, finish. Contacts, by the way. Finish, so, go ahead, yeah. go ahead, read the rest. Nineteen will be like none other for constant readers, <laughs> both new and old, which is very true with all the properties that are coming. You know, this, this year. This a fucking we, day. We've seen already. Yes, it's great. great I love you all. All right, next. The third one, which is going to be Sunday from 4:30 to 5:30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 2:27 ABC. But notice. The first one is one of the small rooms. The second one is double that. The remakes one is a three room a wide. Room it's a big room, room that we're so, getting so for the remakes. Like it's going to be a big, big topic. Yeah. Well, well, that's going to be like the same size room we got for Supernatural the second year. Yes. And for the great horror debates. Yes. It's going to be a big room. room. Yeah. Big, big room. room. So yeah. we got to so, deliver. So, so Lou, I've never, that's your Lou. Room. I've never played in that room. You're playing before. the big room, buddy. <laughs> you're playing the big room. I made room. it. So just so you guys know, I'm not crying, you're crying is going to be. I don't know. Lou, are you doing that one too? Probably I mean, not. I can't. I mean, I can't find five movies and made me cry. I can only think one. And you're no, like, it's not really about making you cry. It's like no emotional, emotional. 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 Like it was really. I'll intense. get back to you. Get back to us. Get back to us. All right. If you think you can research. get the night off, I mean, yeah. that's get back to us. Because I'm definitely taking Friday, this Sunday yeah. off. So no. Saturday, Stephen King. This is obviously going to be a Fuego led. This is going to be a hail to Stephen King live episode, essentially that. Marsha and I are Can just going to take part of. Are you on that no, one? No, I cannot. There's, 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 no, it's, Lou, are you I, there's trying nothing to do that I can one contribute. No? There's nothing Again, I can look at the time. I 9 to 10. I, I, there's well, nothing I can say. Well, I mean, yeah. this is I'm, a, I'm a newcomer, okay. I'll be honest. Okay. Yeah. Basically, that panel is only as we talk about. You can about, ask Chris. Be, Chris is fine. 
Chris is fine. Well, wow. Chris. Okay. Chris not Christopher R. Smith. It's not yeah. Okay. All right. So number three. Well, I mean, the year of remakes. 19 panel is just basically talking about Pet Cemetery remake, the It Chapter 2, the upcoming remake of Creep Show. And the book. That we have coming. And the, well, yeah, and the, the Institute book. And then, uh, what, second season of Castle Rock, third season of Miss Mercedes, Doctor Sleep. You know, just that's a lot. About, <laughs> that's but, a lot. But, but it's just talking about the properties, many of which are familiar. Yeah, but it'll people. be fun. You get, remember to work in audience participation into year when you're planning that out. Mm -hmm. So ten to fifteen minutes at the end, or sparse throughout. The third panel that we're doing is nerve-wracking <laughs> remakes I'm a, I'm a, from I'm Pet a, Cemetery to Child's I'm Play. Do that one. <laughs> Join us as we discuss the scary trend in horror of remaking old films rather than developing new original properties. So that it is what follows. the three panels you can look forward to. We will be recording these panels and presenting them later to the channel as a whole, so you will be able to see them after the fact if you're not able to get there live, obviously, which you're... most of you probably aren't, because we're anywhere. a worldwide show, baby! But if you're anywhere inside the Arizona area, or Sorry, could I've had be a couple drinks. Memorial I can see Day that! Shut up! <laughs> We would I love to have you there. <laughs> you should be happy. I am happy. All right. Go ahead, Fuego. No, I was just saying, but if you're anywhere in the Arizona area, please make the opportunity and the attempt. The if it is within your capacity, we would love to have you there. Now vote. <laughs> Lou. Yes. Are you excited about your panel that you're going to be taking part in? The remake least? one? The remake yeah. one, yeah. I am. Because I, I, I have a very, uh, I don't know, different opinion about remakes. I, Which is great. I feel like I do too. I'm like, well, look. What is, what is the problem with remakes? Your old movies are still there. It's just another chance to have a great addition to your movie series. And, that but you also, often they're not, it's shit. And all, okay, I, also, but I at like least the, you had the opportunity of having it being a good one. I, I, Would you rather have an opportunity? Okay, yeah. you know what? I'll give you that. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I will give you that. Yeah. Because most often than not, been given the you, remakes so. are shit. I'll be but like, you, you don't ever have to watch them again. Yeah. That's but true. if they're you good, not if they're good, now you have another entry in your favorite series. You can revisit. I like I like different I like different takes on certain. High five! Movies. High five! Sure, like, I'm all for it. I'm you all know, for it, remakes. You know, I if we are that. gonna add another category on, maybe we should do like a nope. favorite remake and a least favorite remake. Yes, we, I have oh, one. okay, I'm down I for that. One. No, I'm oh, down for that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Remind me off camera so I can write it down. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Guys, I think that's going to do it for our uh, notification of Phoenix Con. ended up being way longer than it should have been. <laughs> Guys, if you're not in town for Phoenix Fan Fusion, then stay tuned to the channel. You'll be able to see those uh, those uh, panels. And we will likely do a vlog where we're checking out the, the, the con and everything. It might be a shorter vlog, but Maybe even some live we'll do that. It might be it might be a live stream or two, too, as well. Um, so, never know. Two, two. So Guys, let us know in the comments down below if you're excited about any of this. Um... Jesus Christ. Right. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I've been Cecil Laird. I'm Cece Von Slaughter. Luis Hernandez. Gracias. I've been Jaime and Fuego. And remember, stay, stay scared. scared. You guys really need to step it the fuck what? up.